Hi everyone. So yesterday I was busy um, cleaning the house, doing laundry, cleaning all the groceries that had arrived. Uh, with that, I feel that my body's tight and my feet hurt because I was on my feet a lot. So today's workout will be a 20 minute workout focusing on um, helping uh, with the tightness and um, getting the feet a little bit of love. So let's start with the feet. I'm going to start by seating. And I hope that you can see my foot. Yes, you can. Good. So um, you're going to have to cross your leg like in a four shape and have the same hand. So I have my right foot up. My right hand is going to be on the top of my right foot. And my left hand is going to be holding my, uh, my heel, okay, my calcaneus. And all I'm going to do is, for now, to spiral the front of the foot down. So you see how I'm pressing and rotating down and now up. And it goes down. I'm only using my right hand for now. I'm rotating, spiraling down as if I want the, the front of the foot to spiral to the floor and then to the ceiling. Down to the floor and to the ceiling. And just four more. And now three. Believe me, your foot will love this. Just two more. And last one. Now let's do that with the calcaneus, this bone here where I had my left hand. I'm going to try to lift up and then down. It might not move much, but still try to do it. It will help you anyway, even if you don't see a lot of movement. Go down to the floor, up to the ceiling, down to the floor, up to the ceiling. Just two more. And last one. Now let's combine the two motions. So the front of the foot will go down and the calcaneus will go up. And the arch, when you do that, it's kind of like more archy, right? And now do the opposite. The calcaneus will go down, pressing down, and the front of the foot will go up. And then you have less arch. And keep doing that for five more, more times. Dois, dois, três, três, quatro, quatro, cinco, and cinco. Nice. Now make a uh, fist with your left hand and then rub your knuckles on the foot, on the bottom of the foot, the sole of your foot. Just two more rub. And last one. Then try to put your fingers between each toe and then you're going to extend the toes and then flex, extend and flex, extend, flex, and one more. Nice. Now you're going to get up and just notice if there's any difference in the sensation on the right foot, the foot that we work, and the left foot, the foot that we didn't work. So hopefully you feel that the foot is a little bit more grounded and it also um, is in a way more relaxed as well, okay? Like less, less achy. Now let's do with the other foot, with the left foot, cross the leg like a four, left hand go on the top of the left foot and the right hand go on the calcaneus, this bone, the heel bone, okay? Let's go down with the top of the foot, so spiraling down and then spiral up, spiral down, spiral up. Again, this is really good for your foot. If you're a runner, this is a great thing to do prior to running. After, afterwards too. <laughs> and just three more. Or if, if you're somebody that work on your feet a lot. And then two. And last one. Now let's move the calcaneus up and down, up, down, up, down, up, down. Just three more. And then two. Last one. Now it's time to combine both. The front will go down, the top 
uh, the back will go up. Now the calculus go up, the arch gets really archy, and then the opposite, so which is kind of get flat, flatter, as we want the curve to get for the coronavirus. Flatten the curve, and then widen the curve. Let's not widen the curve, right, for the corona, but we want to do that for the fun. <laughs> okay, flatten and widen, flatten and widen, just two more. Last one, do the knuckle with the up opposite hand and then rub on the sole of your foot. Make sure you're breathing while you do that. Just two more. Last one, let's put your fingers between your toes. This one's a little harder for me. Nice spreading your toes and then you're going to extend the toes and then flex, extend and flex, extend, flex, just three more and then two, last one, nice, now stand again and see if you feel a little bit more even, great, so I'm going to move this bench away so you can lie down, you can see me lying down on the mat. And when we, actually, let's start sitting, sitting on the mat. And um, I, you, I can have my legs straight, you might need to have your legs slightly bent, depending on your uh, hamstring flexibility. And put your arms forward, and as you exhale, you're going to fold forward. We're going to have like a bow in front of you. And you're going to fold over the bow as if you want your uh, forehead to go to your knee. And as you inhale, we stack your spine up. Again, exhale, fold forward. And then inhale, come back up. Just two more. Exhale, fold forward. And come back up. If you can straighten the knee, great. Fold forward. Come back up. Last one. Fold forward. We stack up, nice inhale over here. In your next exhale, you're going to slowly roll back. And try to go control all the way down to the mat. Nice. Now, put your arms out to the sides in a T and bend one knee toward your chest, then bend the other knee toward your chest. Lower both legs to one side and feel the stretch in the opposite side. So I feel big stretch on my left side, my legs are going right. And then I'm going to exhale, return the legs back to center. Inhale, I'm going to lower both legs to my left. Now I feel stretch on my right side. And exhale back to center. Lower to the right. <sighs> Exhale, center, inhale, go left, and then hold it for exhale, and then come back center, so inhale, go right, and then hold for exhale, and stay for one inhale, so a little longer now, exhale, come back to center, nice, inhale, let's go left, that should feel good, hold there, one more inhale, and then exhale back to center. Perfect. Now let's go right and hold on the right. And then I'm going to rotate my chest toward you. And we've done this in the past. This is great to open the chest. Now we're going to go and do like a rainbow with your top arm. So my top arm, which is my left, is going to go over my head, drawing like a rainbow over, oops, I have a little blocks here, over my head, all the way to the other side, and I feel a big stretch on my chest, and then I go down toward my pelvis, and go back to the starting position, again, inhale as I go for my arm of my head, and then I start exhaling when it's all the way to the other side, down to the pelvis and back to the starting position. One more. Do a big circle like the sun shining and then back to the starting position. Nice. Let's do on the other side. 
This is a feel good workout. So inhale overhead, all the way to the right, down to the pelvis, and then on top of the lower arm to the starting position. Again, go overhead, nice. And then return. Just three more. Open the chest, make sure you're breathing. And then two. You can gaze to your hand and turn your head a little more. And last one. Mm, nice. Now lie down on your back. Mm, I already feel a little better. So let's do a few bridges because I was folding forward a lot while cleaning and folding laundry and doing all this stuff, right? So it's good to open the hips. So feet are parallel uh, and legs are parallel. Press your feet down, press your arms down, tilt your pelvis and articulate your spine up. As you go with your pelvis up, you're going to think about your knees going forward over your toenails. Inhale at the top, and as you exhale, articulate your spine down. Nice. Again, inhale at the bottom. Exhale, tilt your pelvis, articulate up. Make sure your neck is relaxed. Nice, inhale at the top. Exhale, lower your breastbone, then lower your ribs. Now lower your lower back and then the pelvis. Just two more. Tilt to the pelvis and articulate up. You're going to feel the back of your thigh and your glutes. Nice knees are uh, going fall over your toenails. Perfect. Inhale at the top. Exhale, articulate down. And last one. Keeping your knees parallel. Tilt to your pelvis and articulate up. You're using glutes and hamstrings, which is the back of your hip and the back of your thigh. Inhale at the top and then exhale, articulate down. Nice. Perfect. I'm going to flip around. So lie down on my belly. Uh, and then, with my arms bent, my forehead is going to be on top of my hand and I'm looking down to the floor. Nice. I'm going to press my forearms down, slide the shoulders down the back. So see, you can look in the video now. My shoulders are up and then I'm going to slide down and lift the breastbone and my head off the mat a little. And I'm rolling. Nice. Press the forearms down and then Lift head and breastbone, and then lower. Nice. As you slide the shoulders down the back, inhale as you come up, and then lower. One more. Slide the shoulders down the back, and now inhale, lift the breastbone, hold up. Now lift your arms off so they're hovering. Open out to the side. Go down to your, to your thighs and then lower your chest and then look to your right so I can see you. Nice. I'm going to lift the chest and look to the center, look to the mat, okay? Lift the chest and look to the mat. Lower and look to the opposite side, to my left. Nice. Inhale, so lift and look to the mat. Exhale, lower and look right. Inhale, lift, look to the mat. Exhale, lower, look left. Last one, lift, look to the mat. Exhale, lower, and look right. Nice, put your hands under your shoulders, press yourself up, bring your knees forward under you, and then go to child's pose. And I can hear some of my clients saying, ah, this is my favorite position. And then oftentimes complain and don't stay here long enough. So 
So because this is not like my typical workout, this is more about uh, releasing tension after the cleaning. <laughs> so I'm going to stay here a little longer. So Jim, this is for you. Karen, this is for you. Staying a little longer in child's pose. Hmm, so in child's pose, I want you to make sure you're breathing. I want you to let gravity um, do, do what it needs to do to bring uh, all the tension like down, to allow your body to kind of melt. And let's do just two more full breaths here. And one more. And now I'm going to lift the pelvis, tuck the toes under, and lift the pelvis up to the sky, extending the knee. So kind of in a downward facing dog. Now I'm very tight, so I'm going to move my feet forward. And then move your pelvis back and open your shoulders. Now check how you feel in your neck. And if you feel stress and tense, try to swivel your arms out and press against the pinky side of your hand and try to release tension from your upper trap, which is the muscle bound right here, where I'm pointing. And now breathe. You're going to stay in this position for three more breaths. Now I'm going to step forward my left foot, so my left foot go between my hands, and then I'm going to put my right knee down. Nice. And now lift the chest. Now look outside, it's kind of sunny, I'm surprised it's supposed to rain. Now I'm lifting uh, my right arm, so my left, my right arm is, is up, my right leg is back. And then I'm going to extend the spine a little bit, stretching the front here of my right hip, the front of my torso. And I'm going to bring my hands back down. And then I'm going to step back with the left, step forward with the right. And put the left knee down, lift the torso, and then lift the left arm. And feel the stretch on the front of the left hip. That should feel good. And again, I'm going to put it down. Nice. I'm going to go back with the, um, with the uh, right leg and then do another down facing dog. I still need to step forward a lot, I'm very tight. That's okay. Don't judge yourself for being tight or not being able to do something. Just now shift your pelvis back. Now we are here to feel better. We are here to keep a connection you know, to keep it healthy, right? And I stay here for three breaths. And then two. And last one. Now this time when I step my left foot forward between my hands, I'm going to keep my right up and then I'm going to try to lift my chest. You can put your hands together with your arms lifted. Feel the stretch on the front here. I'm going to fold forward again. Step back with my 
my left, step forward with the right, and up with the torso again. Just three more breaths in this position. And last one. Fold forward again, hands down. Now I'm going to step forward with the left. And then I have my feet close to each other. And I'm folding forward my torso. And I'm going to hold my right elbow with my left hand and my left elbow with my right hand. And again, I'm going to allow gravity to take my torso down. Staying here for three more breaths. Bring my hands down, step back with my right, step back with my left, knees down. And I'm going to sit facing you and have what I call the seat for some very needed side bender. That will be our last move for, to, for today. I'm going to side bend to the bent legs. So my legs are bent to my right. You see this is a Z seat, right? I'm going to side bend to the right and lift the left arm overhead. And then I'm going to imagine that my left long, right here, the one that is the open side, is a balloon. This is a metaphor from Eric Franklin. So imagine it's a balloon, and when you inhale, it gets full of air. And when you exhale, it deflates. And when the left lung is deflating, no, no, of course the right is too, you're sinking a little bit more to the right, getting heavier toward the right. And again, inhale for your left lung with air, like a balloon, and then exhale, deflate it. Just one more, inhale, and then exhale. Now, in your next exhale, you're going to rotate your torso to the floor and lower your left arm. And look at, look at the left hand, the right hand, sorry. Both hands are actually together. And just two breath here with this rotation. Again, let gravity, um, Take your body down, don't resist. And then derotate. I know this word does not exist, but I wish it did. <laughs> and then come back up and side bend to the other side. <sighs> and come back to center. Z seat to the other side. So my legs are up to my left. I'm going to side bend left. I'm going, I'm going to allow gravity to take me down. And then imagine that my right lung is a balloon. And I'm in inhale and filling it up the balloon of air. And I exhale, I get heavier and lower, right? Inhale. A big exhale. Some love to your lungs. Inhale. And exhale. Now your next exhale, rotate your torso. You're going to look to the floor. Touch the other hand. So put one hand on top of each other. And I like to imagine that I'm touching my mom's hand. Or my sister. My friends. You're not alone, we are all in this together. And even though we cannot be together, in our heart we're always together, right? My next exhale, I'm going to rotate back, and then come back up, and I'll rotate, uh, side bend to the right. 
I know I said that was the last move, but I lie. I'm going to do one more thing. You can cross your legs like crisscross of those hoss, like this. Mm -hmm. So let's release a little bit the neck. So I'm going to uh, tilt my head forward and hold behind with both hands. And again, like gravity, take it down. But my um, torso is up, up, upright. It's just that my head is down and I feel the stretch. Just two more breaths here. I'm going to turn to you, but you can stay like this. Turn the head to the right as if you want to listen to your right shoulder. With your right hand, you're going to put your hand on your left ear and use the weight of your right arm to bring your head closer to the right shoulder. Not your shoulder closer to the hand, but your head not, not your shoulder closer to the head, sorry, but the head closer to the shoulder, you know. <laughs> and just breathe in. Feel the stretch on the left side. You can even reach your left hand down to the floor, and that will even feel more stretch. And you can even, with your left hand, kind of pretend you're opening a jar. And I love sweets, so I think about I'm opening a Nutella jar. Or... Any, anything that you would like to open the jar. Some people like pickles. I don't, I like Nutella. <laughs> Not that I eat too much of it, but. <laughs> and then come back to center. Let's do the other side. Listen to your um, left shoulder. Bring your left hand to your right ear. Nice, and then you can pretend you're opening the jar. Nice, and then gently release, carefully come up, and then turn your head, and roll your shoulders, and we're finished. That was good, that was a good pulse cleaning um, routine.